to work together to remind the government to stop them. It's about our right to know, our right to associate freely, and to live in a free and open democratic society. We are witnessing an American moment in which ordinary people from high school to high office stand up to oppose the dangerous trend in government. We are told that what is unconstitutional is not illegal. But we will not be fooled. We have not forgotten that the Fourth Amendment in our Bill of Rights prohibits government not only from searching our personal effects without a warrant, but from seizing them in the first place and doing so in secret. Right. <laughs> Holding to this principle, we declare that mass surveillance has no place in this country. It is time for reform. Elections are coming and we are watching you. Thank you from Edward Snowden. Jesslyn Radak reading a message from NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden at Saturday's Stop Washing Us rally in Washington, D.C. National Security Agency whistleblower Thomas Drake also spoke. He was charged with espionage after he was suspected of revealing information about the NSA's warrantless wiretapping program. Due to the material evidence disclosed by Edward Snowden, we now know in great detail, and I will add with much more to come, that the NSA does not have an honorable track record of telling the truth while keeping track of us without our consent, hiding behind secret laws, secret opinions, and secret interpretations in the shadow lands of surveillance. Unacceptable! I agree, unacceptable, and we only know, we only know government spying, illegality, wrongdoings, and violations due to the disclosures of whistleblowers. The public's eyes and ears expose the abuse of government power in the public interest. But without adequate protections, employees are more likely to turn a blind eye to the privacy violations of innocent Americans and risk professional and career suicide. It is the constant possibility of observation without our consent as a governed by those in power that stultifies society, renders creativity mute, engenders fear and erodes our freedom with the acid served up by the potent brew of secrecy combined surveillance for the sake of security while forsaking our liberties as a price we must pay to make us feel safe. I don't think so. I was fortunate that I not, did not end up in actual prison, having lived the virtual version for a number of years, for coming out of the system and speaking truth to and of power. Clearly a dangerous act of civil disobedience and individuality for sure in these times, and now defined as a criminal act by the national security state, aided and abetted by journalists and reporters, expressing one's fundamental and inalienable right to individual sovereignty in the face of a government bent on destroying it. The last thing a free and open society needs is a digital fence around us creating a virtual turnkey tyranny with the barbed wire surveillance not only keeping track of our comings and goings but now increasingly wanting to know what we think and feel the very essence of who we are and share as human beings. I fundamentally reject this dystopian premise. And the siren call of security. If we just give up our essential liberties, given what happened to me and other whistleblowers like Edward Snowden. And so, it is time to roll back the surveillance state. It is time to restore the Fourth Amendment. It is time to repeal the Patriot Act. It is time to repeal the FISA Amendments Act. It is time that the United States government stops watching us.
Former National Security Agency whistleblower Thomas Drake speaking Saturday at the Stop Watching Us rally. He was charged with espionage after he was suspected of revealing information about the agency's warrantless wiretapping program. All 10 original charges against him were dropped. Former Republican Governor of New Mexico Gary Johnson also addressed the crowd. The government has granted itself power that it does not have. We have to stand against this. Angela Merkel, thank you for bringing the attention to the world that the U.S. is monitoring the cell phones of 35 world leaders. Thank you for allowing us to recognize that 70 million cell phone conversations in France every month are being monitored. Edward Snowden, thank you. of the world, the fact that the U.S. government, the NSA, is engaged in massive information gathering. 125 billion cell phone conversations a month. Judges granting legal authority for the NSA to monitor 113 million Verizon users. This is not due process. Former Republican Governor of New Mexico Gary Johnson at the Stop Watching Us rally on Saturday. When we come back, journalist Glenn Greenwald, who regionally reported the leaks of Edward Snowden. This is Democracy Now! We'll be back with Glenn in a moment.